heard me I'm talking to you it's Miss Shaw and it's time to take our learning skills up another level because you are a fierce learner and you never back down so let's start off by making a few promises to ourselves I promise to focus say it with me today is the day I will not let anything distract me from my goals because I am super focused. I promise to just remember even if you struggle it's never impossible. If you work hard you can change impossible to impossible. And I can't to I can. I promise to show excellence. You need to do your personal best every day because no matter where you learn, no matter how you learn, excellence is the only option because you were born to be great. Ready to learn. Don't forget to have your supplies ready so you are set up for success. Show courage. Never be afraid to try new things, even if they are hard. And don't be afraid to fail or make mistakes because mistakes help us grow. We only fail if we quit. And quitting is not an option. Mm -hmm. You heard me. Last but not least, show effort. Promise yourself that you're going to give it your all. Let's go. is taking us on a detective mystery. Let's go! Looks like we have what we need. Let our learning mystery begin. Welcome, detective! detectives. I've been trying to read this book, but I keep coming across a bunch of words that I have no idea what they mean. I don't know what to do. We read so many new things every day and sometimes we come across words that we don't know. That's when we need to be word detectives and not just skip the word, but look all around for clues. 
And these are called context clues. Wait a minute. What are what are the context clues? Hmm. Hmm. Do you see any clues anywhere? Yes! You do? Oh! So when we get to a word we don't know, do we skip it? No! We ask some important questions. Let's take a look at clue number one. We can ask, is there anything in the text that can help me figure out the meaning? Hmm, what about clue number two? Clue number two. Can a picture help me figure out the meaning? Hmm, what do you say we look at clue number three? Do I know of any other words in the sentence or the surrounding sentences that can help me? Hmm, good point. I really could have used these clues earlier today when I was reading one of my favorite books about frogs. So earlier today, I started reading my favorite book about frogs. I was learning all about the life cycle and where frogs live. And then all of a sudden, I came to a word that made absolutely no sense. I even used my magnifying glass to try to help me, but nothing worked. I just wanted to skip it. It was so hard. But luckily, we know our context clues. Can you help me figure out the meaning of this unknown word? Frogs are amphibians, meaning that they can live on land or in water. A lot of frogs that we see spend most of their entire lives in the water. However, they can also live in trees or holes in the ground. Here's the word that stumped me. Amphibians. That is very unfamiliar to me. But we're not going to skip it. We're going to try to figure out the meaning of this unfamiliar word, amphibians. One way to help determine what this word means is to look for clues the author might have given in the text. I can see that the author wrote that frogs can live on land or in water. So I know that an amphibian has something to do with an animal that can live both on land and in the water. Another way to help determine what a word means is to look at the pictures for clues. On this page, I can see in the picture that there are two examples of frogs in different locations, one on land and one swimming in the water. Using the clues in the sentences around the word, along with the pictures, I can have a better understanding of what the word means. Amphibian means an animal that has the ability to live on land and also in water. The picture is a great help in determining the meaning of the word because I can see the different ways that frogs live. Wow, your context clue skills are on point. Let's hop on over to another example. Can you spot the frog? Frogs can be very sneaky creatures. Their camouflage helps disguise them from hungry predators looking for food. Frogs can blend in with leaves and bark from trees. Some frogs, like the tree frog, can change colors from green to gray or even brown to prevent themselves from becoming another animal's breakfast. Whoa, there were a few words in here that I'm not quite sure of. Luckily, we have the tools to help us. What do you say we look for some clues? The two words that were unfamiliar to me were camouflage and predators. Hmm, let's try to find clues. Let's start with the word camouflage. Now, what clues within the text has the author provided to help us understand the meaning of this word? I see that their camouflage helps disguise them 
And I also see that frogs can blend in with leaves and bark from trees. Wow, check out these photographs. These text features can also give us clues to help us find the meaning of this unfamiliar word. Now, what do you notice about the frogs in these photographs? Check it out. You can barely see these awesome frogs because their bodies have the same color as their surroundings. These photographs connect to the text because it says that camouflage helps disguise them and that is definitely what is happening in these photos. So that must mean that camouflage means to hide or blend in with their surroundings. Cool! Now, what about the word predators? I notice that when I look in the text, I see a few clues. Right after the word predators, it states looking for food. That must be what a predator does. I also see that the text says becoming another animal's breakfast. So that helps me determine that a predator is another creature that eats animals for food. Wow, oh, it's not hard finding the meaning of unknown words after all. You just have to look super close in the text to find those important clues. I think we're ready to take our reading skills out into the real world. I just love nature. It's so calming and refreshing. It makes you want to just take some deep breaths. Let's do it together. <sighs> yeah, the smell of nature. Hey, do you see that? A butterfly. So awesome. Butterflies are such beautiful creatures. What do you say we learn a little bit more about butterflies? Good thing I have my nature guidebook with me to help. All about butterflies. Butterflies are known to be the most beautiful and fascinating insects. They can be found all around the world. They're known by their bright and colorful wing designs. Their wings are very delicate. It is important not to touch butterflies because their wings could be damaged easily. Read the paragraph from the text above. What is the meaning of the word delicate as it is used in the text? Is it A, strong, B, weak, C, sturdy, or D, colorful. What do you think? If you said B, you're right. Great job. The answer is B, because the clue in the text states that their wings could be damaged easily. Let's fly on over to the next section of our nature guidebook about butterflies. Did you know that a butterfly didn't start off as a butterfly? Through the process of metamorphosis, this insect starts off as a caterpillar, turns into a chrysalis, and then over time it turns into the beautiful butterfly that we see fluttering about. An adult butterfly has four wings, six legs, two antenna, and eyes that help them see well. Butterflies can fly at a speed of over 40 miles per hour. Read the paragraph from the text below. Which sentence from the text helps you understand the meaning of the word metamorphosis? Is it A, did you know that a butterfly didn't start off as a butterfly? B, through the process of metamorphosis, this insect starts off as a caterpillar turns into a chrysalis, and then over time, it turns into the beautiful butterfly that we see fluttering about. C. An adult butterfly has four wings, six legs, 
two antennae and eyes that help them see well. Or D, butterflies can fly at a speed of over 40 miles per hour. What do you think? You said B, you're right. The insect starts off as a caterpillar, turns into a chrysalis, and then over time it turns into the beautiful butterfly that we see fluttering about. This helps me determine the meaning of metamorphosis as the life cycle of a butterfly. Wow, thanks for using your context clues to help me find the meaning of those unknown words. We can always find the answers we need right inside our book. Until next time.